In this lecture, we will extend the idea of formation control from the position to the angles to the face of each agent. Now let's consider the agents as robots. Okay? They are modeled by unicycle dynamics in planar space, in two dimensional space. And we denote the position of each robot, xi and yi. It's very convenient to view its coordinate by complex numbers. Okay, if we say xi, and we know it had two different ways to, to get, look at the position. We can look at the vectors, for example, in this case, is xit, yit belongs to R2. But another way to look at this, we can use complex numbers. Okay, we define RT is xit, and in the second component, we say yit. So for the unicycle dynamics, so xi dot is will be let's assume okay for the unicycle if it at xi yi is this is the j then we know this this is the r okay here it's where it is okay both agent at this point his velocity v is in this direction so vi is a v velocity okay suppose this angle is c to i then we know along the xi axis so the speed will be vi cosine c to i along the y direction, the speed will be vi sine c to i. Then the angle is controlled by the control input. So let's assume this velocity is fixed, okay? So later on we may normalize, but just assume the velocity is one, yeah? Without lose generality, okay? Then the ui can only control the velocity that only control no sorry only control the angle that basically means the angle will be if i draw the angle if here is where it is so the agent let's say this is the seat i the angle of agent will be in a unit circle because the seat i increase from c zero, increase all the way, then round and round. Okay. Then, if we look at the dynamics of complex numbers, we take time derivative of r it will be x dot it will be y i dot then we replace x dot by v i cosine fit dot y j by v sin six then we can use euler formula basically means exponential of theta this is theta theta j will be cosine theta plus j sine theta. So here the r dot i can be written as v i exponential j theta i t. Then theta i dot will be the u i t. So we would like to study 
three different problems. So the first problem is called synchronization. We want to control the agent's hiding angle. Let's say the ultimate result will be either agent will travel at the same angle or have the same hiding, hiding to not the same place, traveling with the same hiding angle. That will be the synchronization problem. Then for the balance problem, basically means the center of the mass of the evolution remains constant. So if I define for agent I, exponential of J C to I, what I mean balance behavior basically means if I take the sum of I from one to N, the sum is zero. So equivalent to say, if I use the sum cosine C to I plus J sine C to I is zero, then basically it means I from one to N cosine C to I zero, I from one to N sine C to I zero. So that means a balanced configuration. This is the synchronized configuration. For the spacing basically means all the unit cycles, they will rotate around a common center with the same radius. But this trajectory do not, do not need to be the same. Now let me show you what do I mean synchronization. Now we have four agents. So their velocity is one. We normalize velocity and we try to control by using the local neighbors information to adjust their hiding angles. So the objective is that eventually they will have the same hiding angle. Now you see here, the hiding angle basically be, because the lines are basically parallel, basically means they have the same hiding angles. So there's seat I. So seat one is the same with C2, C3, C4. In the sense, the mode two pi. Because if the difference, if C to I minus J is two K pi, K some integers, then sine C to I will be if it's the same sign, sine sine J cosine C to I equals cosine C to J. Now let's see the balanced behavior. Okay. Now let's see, this is the balanced behavior. Okay. 
So their angle, uh, exactly the difference is will be pi. So let's assume this case, okay? If one agent is xi and yi, if their face are change plus pi, 180 degree, it will be minus xi minus yi. So xi plus yij then plus minus xi plus j yi it will be zero the sum will be zero okay just means it's a balanced behavior so for this two topology they have the same initial conditions the same topology the difference is that they use the same the different the different control structure in this case they have the same hiding angles in this case their hiding angle the sum of their hiding angles will be zero That is what we will mean balanced configuration. Then to study this problem, we will use Lyapunov type approach. So we can define a Lyapunov type function. We call it Laplacian based potential function. So V is function of fit, and be half the inner product. So here, this means the, the inner product. So actually show J theta. So J theta is a column vector, okay? So J theta, exponential J theta will be at J theta one, J theta two until J theta n. So the inner product, if we say it's the column, with complex number v, u a complex number v. The inner product basically means the conjugate of u times v. So in this case, it will be we're using minus j c to one, then minus j c to two until minus j, this will be the conjugate, times l, then it's the column vector. Then it's a number. Then what's the minimum value of this Laplace based function? So the minimum value is zero. So if we consider this as functor u, it will be u conjugate l u. So it's always greater than zero. So the minimum value we can find is zero. So when it's zero, we know so u must belong to the span of one or one vector. Basically, we know they will be the same, okay? The seat i and seat j, the same in the sense of mode two pi. So their difference will be two pi. So in other words, their hiding angle is synchronized. So how to achieve the balanced configuration by the Laplacian based potential function? Then we need to maximize the Laplacian based potential function. Then we have to take extra care because the 
Laplace based potential function, it has mod, multiple local maxima. So they may stack at some local maxima and may not reach to the global maxima. So the global maxima corresponds to the balance configuration for then to make it work then we can assume that the graph if the graph circling graph then there will be the maximum of the b seat will be balanced configuration so it is only work when the graph is a circling graph. When the graph is not a circling graph, then when you try to maximize V seed, it may stack at some local maxima and may not get reach the unique global maxima, which will be the balanced configuration. So what is a circling graph? So we haven't talked about a circling graph before, but I can give you some general idea. Okay, I, I'm not going to too far or to details. Let's assume the circle graph. We all know the circle graph. So one, two, three, four, five. So circle graph is a special case of circling graph. Okay, if we denote this is the circling graph, then we can retain it by j minus one and plus one. Basically means for any agent i, so the neighborhood of agent i include agent i plus one and i minus one. Okay, so it's, it's in the mode of N. Okay, suppose if the I is one, so basically means agent one has two neighbors. So it two, so zero, zero for cost is not, uh, here, so it's because mode five and plus five, so two and five, okay? Then for agent five, five, then and five is six, okay, six is not here. So then we know it's divided by five, the remainder is one, one, five minus one, four, okay? So circling graph is more general than the just adjacent neighbors, okay? So let's see this graph. If we take here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe we can retest J. So this 10 is a number of agents in this graph. Then for each agent, it has four neighbors, okay? Then have plus and minus one, and also plus minus three. So that's a the circling graph. Let's pick any, let's pick i is three. Then we know this some sense by mode, the neighbor is mode by two. If we look at the agent three's neighbors. So plus one minus one will be two and four. You can see here, two and four. Two is three's neighbor, four is three's neighbor because it's a link. Then also minus plus three, six is, so zero is not, then 10 because mode by 10. So we have two, four, six, so six is agent three's neighbor, then 10 is agent three's neighbor. 
Then for circling graph, it is an indirect graph. So it's indirect graph. Okay. Then we know to achieve synchronized configuration, we need to minimize V. Then to achieve the balance configuration, we need to maximize B. Then we can use gradient control law. So we know the gradient direction is the direction can make this B value increase. And the minus of the gradient direction can make this value decrease. Now we need to calculate the gradient of this V function. Now let's calculate the gradient, okay? So let's denote the V seat as half. Let's use U, okay? This may be U, let's use U. It's not control input, just uh, some symbol, okay? U, uh, U. Then we'll take partial V, Partial theta i, it will be half. Then partial u, partial theta i, I'll partial u, partial theta i, then plus half u. Sorry, here, here's u. Then partial u, partial theta i. Okay. Based on the definition, this part. It is partial u, partial seat, the conjugate of u. So this one will be conjugate u l partial u partial seat i. Okay. Then we know if we consider this one as a plus b i. So this this one this value will be a plus a minus bi. It's just the conjugate. Because when you take the conjugates again, it will become partial u, partial i conjugate l u. See? So it will be a minus bi. So here we know it can be written as the, because when you take together it will be two times the real part. Yeah, the a. Then we have half here, it will be just the real part of the partial v, partial c to i, it will be just the partial u, partial c to i, L U. Yeah, it'll be just a real part. We only need to calculate the real part. We don't need to care about the imaginary part. Okay. If we know the E J C, if we partial that partial C to I, so it will be we know. Lots of them will be, it's a column vector. So awesome will be zero. So add the, the I part, it will be J exponential J C to I. Yeah. So it will be the real part of and here, it will be only the I row, okay, there will be the I row of it will be for the I row, it will be let's say the sum, okay, we have n i neighbors, okay, then it's in this way, okay, so the Laplace matrix we have at the, the di, there will be the valency, 
Then we have exponential of j to the minus sum j is k to k, k from ni exponential jk. Okay, so this will be the i row of the plus matrix times u i. So then we have j exponential of j c to i then d i exponential j c to i minus k belongs to n i exponential j c to k yeah then it can be separate, okay? We calculate j, e, j, c to i, then d, i, e, j, c to i, then minus the real part of j, e, j, c to i, then the sum, actually we can take the sum out, sum k belongs to n, i, E J C T K. Okay. So now let's look at this part. Okay. So J E J C T I D E J C T I will be. We can take the D I will be the number of neighbors of agent I J E J C T I then j c to i then we can take the j out it becomes d i minus j e j c to i e j c to i so this is the a real number this is a real number so then we have a complex number here so then the real part will be zero Okay, so this term, the real part of this one will be zero. Okay, so only left is the second term. So when we have two, let's say we have, let's say the general case, u and v. So if u can be written as a, e, j, B and C E J D. So the product will be A C times E J D minus B. Okay. Then therefore, in this case, we have the J E J. C to i, j, c to k, then we know it's one, one, because here we take, we take this out. Okay, let me write again, use a different color, okay? J, e, j, c to i, e, j, c to k, if we take j out, be minus j, then e j c to i times e j c to k. Then we know here one one will be e j, then e j c to k minus c to i. Yeah. Then we have minus sum k belong to n i. Now let's see the real part. Okay, for the real part, we have, have minus j cosine c to k minus c to i, j sine c to k minus c to i. Okay, then we have the, look at the real part, would be sine c to k minus 
theta is the real part. If we only look at the real part, okay, the real part will be only because j square because minus j square is one and j square is minus one. So we have sine minus sine is right here, seat k minus seat i. So we have minus sine front, then we change the orders, it will be sine seat i minus seat k, can take j to j. So j here may be different from the imaginary number j, okay? It's j here represents the neighbor of agent i. Let me know this will be the gradient direction, okay? j is, is agent i's neighbor, then we have sine seat i t minus j t. Then for synchronization, we mean we need to minimize v. Then we need to use a uh, opposite direction, okay? But then we can pick uh, minus k, k is something greater than zero. Then we change the order will be c j minus c to i. So here we have k. So k is any number greater than zero. Then we have sine c j minus c to i. Then for balance configuration, it's only for circulant graph. It only works for circulant graph. Then we can use the gradient direction to maximize v to be a k is greater than zero. Then j is an as neighbor, sine c to i minus CJ. So that's basic two algorithm. One is to reach the synchronization, another one is to reach a balanced configuration for circling the graph.